What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're drawing the pizza monster from Among Us. Let's get started at the top of our page and draw two circles for the eyes. Let's start with the one on the left. It's gonna go all the way around towards the bottom and then back up. And I'm gonna move all the way over towards the right and do the same thing. Let's pull the pupils towards the bottom right side of each eye. So on the left, draw a smaller circle. And the same thing on the right side. Now I'm going to place the toothpicks on top of each eye. On the left, start with a curve going up and in. Do the same thing on the right. Now from the center of that curve, draw a straight angle line going up and back. Now let's move down and draw a thick crust for the upper lip. We're going to start on the left side. Start with a curve going up and then down. Now we're going to step back to create an overlap. Draw another curve. Now it's going to repeat this all the way over towards the right with various sized curves. Let's add one more. Go all the way around and just pull that in. Let's go back over towards the left side, step out, curve around, and then up. Now I'm going to repeat this, coming down and up, and a smaller one, and then just working our way over towards the right. I'm just going to tuck this up on top of the right side. Let's go back over toward the left side of the mouth, curl this out and up. Draw another curve. Then we'll draw the end of the pizza, going up and then out. Let's round out the tip of the pizza, come in and then down. Add another curve. Now we're just going to aim this towards the top of the right eye. Go across and then down. Let's close off the bottom of the head. Starting from the bottom of the eye, come down and out, and then back down in behind the crust. Now I'm going to go back to the top of the mouth on the left side, curve this out and up. Now I'm just going to draw a wavy line going all the way out towards the end of the pizza. Let's add that drippy cheese across the head. Starting from the top, I'm just going to draw a wavy line going down up, and then add another smaller curve, and then we'll draw a few more inside the head. Coming down, across the center, along the bottom, and a small one on the left side. Now you want to tuck the lower jaw in underneath the head. Starting on the left, come in and out, and it's going to work our way down towards the bottom of the mouth. We'll step back to create an overlap, going across, and then again, we're just going to work our way over towards the right side. And then we'll round out the end. Now we're going to work our way back over towards the left, coming down and up. We're just adding these larger curves, going all the way around towards the outside of the mouth. And we'll pull this back up with a series of curves underneath the head. Now we're going to add that top row of fangs. Starting from the left side, start with a V-shape coming down and up. Leave a gap. I'm just going to repeat this towards the right. Now the last one, we're just going to curve this around and down and then back up. Let's do the same thing along the bottom, going up and then down. We'll bend the last one coming in and then down. Let's draw the back side of the mouth, starting up here. Curl this down and then out. Step in and draw that same curve. Now that we complete the head, let's draw on the left shoulder. Starting from the side of the mouth, start by curving this up and then down towards the side. And we'll add some drippy cheese across the shoulder. Coming down and out. Rounding at the bottom, coming in. Now I'm just going to draw a wave coming towards the inside of the arm and just bend that back up. Let's add a fold along the armpit. Stepping down, trip in, and then up. Now from that same point, we'll draw on the side of the body. Come down, pull that up on the inside. And we'll add some drippy cheese. Coming down, coming up, round at the top. 
around at the bottom and come back up. Let's move over and draw on the right side of the body. Starting underneath the lip, come down and then up. Add that drippy cheese coming down, up, and one more curve. Let's go back over towards the left side, curl the hip, coming down and out. We'll drip the cheese across the top of the leg, coming down and then up, coming down and then back up. And then again, we're going to go back over towards the right, bring the body coming down and in. Now we're going to step back and tuck the body coming down and then in on the left side. Let's add a few more drips across the body. Starting from the top left, just draw that wavy line going all the way across. Add one more along the bottom. Now we're going to add some various sized circles inside the body for the pepperoni. Start from the top, add a large circle, add a smaller one. Now we're just going to work our way across the body with these various sized circles. Let's continue to work our way down the legs, starting on the left side of the hip, put this around and in. I'm just going to add a series of folds across the leg. Let's go to the inside, come down and out. Let's add a second layer, stepping back, around and in, and same thing along the inside. Let's add one more fold along the bottom of the leg, and we'll connect the ends with a curve. Now we're going to go over towards the right side, come down and out, go to the top, come down and in. Let's add that second layer. And then one more time, coming down towards the bottom of the foot, and we'll close off the bottom with a curve. Now you want to add that dripping cheese on top of the right leg. So from this line, just going to bend this back up down, up, and out. Now I'm going to go back up and draw on the left arm. Starting underneath, start with a curve coming down and out towards the elbow. Come in and then down towards the wrist. Let's go to the outside of the arm. Curve this out and then down. Curve out and down. Now I'm going to connect the wrist with a wavy line. Start from the outside. Come down, up, down, add one more bump along the top, and then back down. Now go back to the inside and draw on the thumb. Curve in and then down. Round up the thumb, go up and bend that out towards the hand. And then we'll add in three fingers. Start with the first, coming down, round this out, and then go back up. Let's add the second finger, rounding this out and coming down, and pulling that back up towards the top. Now from the top of the second finger, we'll step down, curve out and down, round up the finger, go up and then down. Let's add one more curve, going up and down. Let's go to the outside of the arm, curve this out, down and then in on top of the hand. Now we want to add some detail to the upper arm. Let's start by adding some spots, adding one circle on the top and one smaller one on the bottom. And then we'll add some folds along the outside. Start from the top, come up and in, add one from the elbow and then one from the forearm. Let's go to the inside of the arm, add one fold. Now we're going to move over and draw the arm holding a large pizza spatula. Let's start from the top of the body, start with that fold. Coming out and down, step up, add another fold, add one more coming down towards the wrist. Now from here we're going to wrap the thumb around the handle. Let's move up, go up towards the top of the thumb, and then come down, round up the thumb, and then pull that back up. And then we'll wrap three fingers around the outside. 
Come from the side of the thumb, start with a half oval, going out and then in. Step down, draw that again, just pull that up underneath the thumb. And then we'll do that one more time. Now I'm going to go back and draw the bottom of the arm. Start from the side of the body, come down and up. Now I'm going to move back, add a fold, coming in and up. Step back and do that one more time, coming up towards the wrist. And we'll connect the ends with a curve, coming in and then back out. Let's draw the top of the spatula. Starting on top of the thumb, start by going straight up and then bending that in. From here, we go straight up towards the top. We'll round this out and then come down on the outside. Just round up the outside and come all the way down towards the bottom. And curve this up and in. Now from here we draw a straight line coming back down in behind the hand. And then we'll take these two lines and extend it down below. Start with the inside, and then line up the outside, and we'll close off the bottom. And now we'll go back and close off the bottom of the hand, starting from the wrist, put this down and then out. Let's add a spot on the top. And that's pretty much it. There's a drawing of the pizza monster from Among Us. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson and please make sure you subscribe. And if you're looking for something more challenging, you can join me on my main channel at Cartooning Club. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.